Okay, we should be live now. <coughs> uh, so I'm uh, hosting a multiplayer Battletech beta game. Uh, we are set to the uh, 25 million C build budget, so um, every mech's valued. It's got a, an MV and C builds, and a uh, player needs to build a list that doesn't cost more than 25. I've ticked off the setting requiring a full lance, so if my opponent wants, they could pick just two or three mechs to, to go up to that. Uh, probably three. I don't think you'd hit 25 million with just two atlases. Um, we've got a uh, big lock selected as the arena, so there's lots of water and islands there. I've gone for a fairly um, not very mobile lance. I've got um, the Kintaros are not too bad, the Hunchback's quite slow, and I've got the Ryan, which is also not too fast. For this lance, I have tried to get everyone acting in the same initiative phase of combat. There are five phases of initiative. Um, my mediums will generally act in uh, the middle phase, right, phase three, and the Orion would normally act in uh, phase four after those, but because I've got Arc Light who is a master tactician, she gets an initiative boost. So every turn I get the option to uh, decide the order of which my mechs will, will go in in that phase without reserving, which I hope will help um, in terms of uh, picking the best mech to, to act at the right time. I've got uh, sensor lock um, on my hunchback here, uh, and evasive with showboats, so I'm hoping to, to, to run forward uh, sensor lock things until I can close to a useful range with the hunchback's weapons. It's got a very short range, but very powerful AC-20 as its main gun. Um, the uh, Kintaras, I've got uh, Sumo, who's got a high gut, so he'll be able to handle the heat that the Kintara generates from firing all of its weapons at once. The Kintara is another good short-range blaster mech, um, though it peppers its opponents with SRMs and uh, LRMs, both missiles. And um, I've got Ozone, who's also got a high gut skill for, for, for dealing with uh, heat generated by the uh, Kintara's weapons. I'm hoping to be able to use a lot of water on this map as well. And uh, uh, Ozone's evasive when he moves. And oh, we have an opponent. And yes, yeah, so finally I've got Arc Light in the Orion. It's a good. Um, all round mech and I'm hoping uh, that uh, uh, again whilst it's getting into the action I've got the option to sense a lot of people with it now between the Kintaras both have LRM5 the Orion's got an LRM 10 or 15 I believe so I will be able to do a little bit of indirect LRM fire as I'm walking up I don't really have any especially high tactics pilots I don't think it's not going to be too effective but it might just um, allow me to soften up some of the opposing mechs. I should say that I am ready. It will be interesting to see if my opponent goes for the full four mechs uh, to fill out a lance or if they take advantage of the not requiring a full lance to bring maybe an atlas and two lighter friends or two atlases and you might be able to squeeze a locust in as well
Alright, here we go. As you can see on the screen, this is uh, the beta, the backer beta for Battletech. So we might see some bugs. Um, I'm aware of a few involving um, uh, death from above attacks. Sometimes uh, you lose a leg doing an attack which should knock you over, but that doesn't happen. I understand there's the occasional map glitch where a mech can get stuck. Um, and um, the occasional issue with skills where the skills get greyed out, so hopefully we won't we'll have a smooth match, but it's entirely possible we'll spot bugs, but that's what a beater's for. Alright, and we're in. Okay, yep, and we see we're on a two minute timer. So time to get in. Now that column of light over there indicates that's where they've started. Now there's plenty of cover here and a couple of ways down into the water there so I will probably make a beeline make a beeline for that middle island and then depending on how my opponent presents themselves. We might fall back here. If they've got lots of missile weapons, they're trying to knock me over. We've got some stability generating ground here. And you can see as I'm sprinting with my guys, we're outside of contact. So uh, often you sprint. You can move and brace if you want to. But my um, uh, troops, they've got varying degrees of evasive pips based on how far they move. And the more evasive pips they have, it's the harder it is to hit them. Every time you shoot at someone, whether you hit or miss, you knock one of those evasive pips off, and if you sense lock them, you can knock two off. So there's definitely an element of strategy in terms of um, when you're fronting up against the opposing lance, looking to see who's the most vulnerable, um, and how you can make them vulnerable if, if they're in a solid position. Sometimes instead of exposing yourself in a risky position to take a poor shot, the best thing to do is to back off and hunker down, let them waste their firepower on you. Right, the Kantaras, I don't want to race ahead with the Kantaras, but Showboat really is slow. Maybe I've got to get Sumo out of the way so she can do her thing. I'm spreading my guys out a little bit here, but it's not critical. It would be nice to be able to get cover here. If my opponent's got a very mobile lance full of jump jets, and they will be able to pick where we engage, which isn't great, but if he's got lots of mechs with jump jets, he's going to be trading off some survivability and some firepower for that, so... I've chiefly picked a two minute timer for this to give me time to talk about each turn. So my opponent, he could be working his way here. There's some deep water here that makes navigation difficult. You can't walk through deep water. You can jump over it if you've got jump jets. Another patch of deep water here. As I say, plenty of trees and stuff here. Right, it's my go. Time to stop looking at the scenery. So, showboat. So you can see here this is marsh. Good stability reduction. Uh, or rather, stability damage reduction. Being there. Aha, here's our first contact. So they are coming straight for us. We've got a catapult and an atlas, so they've definitely gone for that tougher
tougher lance. Okay, I've got... How do I want to do this? I don't have jump jets, so I can't come in. I do need to stay together. I don't think that Alice is going to have line of sight. They might conceivably start... Um, I do not want to just turn on the spot with Sumo. I think we want to get in... with the Kentaros. And the Orion we will get in the marsh as well. So I get, um, when you're hit with uh, a number of weapons, PPCs, missiles and auto cannons all do stability damage. So my opponent does have the full four mechs. He's got two light mechs, a heavy and an assault, and we can see the heavy and an assault here. We don't see where the light mechs are at the moment, which is interesting. Okay, here we come in. It's a panther, alright, long range fire support. Might sense lock something if it's in range. Yep. Sensor locks Ozone and his Kintaro. So Ozone might be in for a beating from the catapult and the Atlas. Now I might be able to get... The catapult will be pretty maneuverable. The atlas won't be so maneuverable. I might be able to get a good shot in on that. Now, what's Ozone's abilities? I can't see what his special abilities are. Still my opponent's turn. No sign of them on scope. That atlas is going to be a real danger. I think what I need to do, if I can... What are your orders, Skipper? ...is take it down when I've got as... Watch there. Now I should have line of sight when I move here. And I'll be in the woods. If I go here, I also have line of sight, it looks like. And I can present the front here. Oh, no. That's not the case. But we're going to brace with him. Still my turn. Waiting on you, Commander. So I think we will push this way. You betcha. Get into the woods, and I'm going to sensor lock that panther. got three pips on it, so it's got a, probably an invasive pilot for a panther to have that amount. Yes, wherever I go, it's going to be a case of indirect fire. But I think we'll take that with the LRMs, even though it's not great it will knock one of those evasive pips off, do a little bit of damage and then we'll get the Orion yeah. here as well Got it. and we'll pop some LRMs down as well there. So you can see the stability damage creeping up a bit as I do that. 
That panther's going to be able to bleed that off without too much trouble. It will clear one pip of stability damage when it moves. So now my opponent's got a decision about what it does, uh, about what he does with the atlas and the catapult. He probably wants to do some indirect fire with both on the target he has sensor locked. But that target is braced, so it takes substantially reduced damage, 50% damage, and is braced, uh, is entrenched as well. And you can see the entrenched means it takes 50% stability damage reduction as well from attacks. So my Kintaro is still in pretty good shape at the moment. Now we're back up to the top of the next round, so my opponent now has to decide what he wants to do with all of his lights. And I now wonder if I can push here and get eyes on that catapult, maybe put it out of commission. Okay, he jumps away with the panther, doesn't want doesn't want it to be caught by himself, and sensor locks. Has he sensor locked ozone again? Yes, yes he has. Okay. Still haven't seen that other light back of his. Ozone. Ozone who's sensor locked, so we'll keep him out of sight and oof. That looks like another panther then. Getting that PPC shot in there. Over to me. Who's going? What do you need? So if I move here, I get line of sight on that catapult. And, unfortunately, the Atlas gets line of sight on me, even if it's obstructed, but I'm in cover. I think... Yeah, I think we go first with our Hunchback. There we go, the catapult. We've got good shots on the catapult. Hasn't moved much. Come on, big gun. It's a great hit with the AC-20. Into that left torso. So now, time to put as much firepower into that as we can. Now, I don't think my own mech is obstructing this attack. We've got some good numbers to hit that catapult as well. I'll do what I can. Let's give it everything. Heat spikes, but it's early on. Okay. <laughs> We are exposing both of those torsos. It's unsteady. I think... We pull ozone out here. We bleed off the stability. We're in cover. So there's LRM ammo in both torsos. We've got a good chance of blowing these arms off. Let's shoot with everything. Come on, let's see some crits. There's a knockdown. 
all of its weapons somehow still functional. Okay, well that just leaves Sumo. We move here for the unobstructed shots. We've got great shots on him. Let's go for it. Now let's see. Sixty, sixty. We might get through that centre torso, and I think the spread could do it anyway. See what happens. Catapult down. Oh, missed with the AC-20, that's big. And he didn't shoot at Ozone there, or did he? Did he shoot at Ozone? Maybe he did. No, I think he shot at Sumo. He had the sensor lock on Ozone. Oh well. Alright, here come both Panthers. They've got PPCs that can put an accuracy penalty on my guys. Alright, let's have a look at this atlas. Where's the AC-20? And that right torso there. Okay, so the Panthers backing off. They're using their atlas to scout. I'm actually okay with that. The atlas has got no evasion. Oof! It's another Another whack on the Kintaro. And one more and he might be unsteady. I might need to to pull Sumo back this turn and brace him. I might in fact need to do that with all my mechs. Let them cool off. Yep, here we go. Oh. Damage is minor, Commander. Damage is minor at the moment, but you can't take too much more of that. So, you don't have sensor lock. You do have bulk though. So maybe you uh, sit still and take it. What can I do for you? Okay, what can you do for me? That's the question. I get two pips of evasion and get into an optimum firing position here on your left hand side single heat sinks and the LRMs and plenty of LRM ammo, okay something to be said for stepping in going for that then I'm going to have a significant refire penalty on the AC-20 shooting again but I've still got pretty good hit rates Oh, he says and misses. Oh well. I think, yeah, we can move with those own up here. Get some evasion in. Right, we will shut down if we fire everything because Kintaros are not known for uh, being good with their heat management, but I can still fire a couple of medium lasers, a couple of SRM6s without any problems. So I will. Miss with that medium laser. Yep, the heat's getting up there, but it's not it's not critical by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I think for Sumo, 
And the best thing to do is just fire from where you are. We will gain guarded when remaining stationary. But I think what I'll do with you instead is we are going to move move to here and brace with you get rid of all that stability damage what do you need? and then time to push up here On it. and we'll stay in the forest okay and as with the Kintaros, not the best heat management. I need to push into that water. Alright, that Atlas is unsteady. I might be able to knock it down next turn. So I think I'm going to need to make good use of the initiative phase next turn. Because if I knock it down in phase 3, my medium phase, then the Atlas is just going to stand up as normal and then have its go. We'll get an accuracy penalty for that. But that's still not what I want. Whereas if I reserve all of my guys down to the phase, I might, I can, might be able to knock it down after it's had its go. And then get some cool shots in on it. goes for the hunchback and really really canes that hunchback makes it pointless I'm we're down to a medium laser and a small laser now wow so what's our good side? So that was on the left we're still presenting our tougher side to the panthers unless they move around they need to attack it from this direction. Oh, splitting fire. And missing. I think he's decided the hunchback is not a threat. I'm happy to let him keep thinking that. Still got that useless AC-20 ammo clogging up things. Okay, so it's, it's time for me now. So what I need... I think I move with Showboat. Yeah, I think I move. It's rough terrain. I'll take more stability, but full difficulty to hit. Oh, with melee attacks. So I think I run here. And brace. And then... Let's see, how are we? You're... I think we reserve. And we reserve again. So the Atlas is going to get another go now. And then all three of my guys are going to get to go. 
and then all four of them are going to get to go before he gets to go assuming everyone lives and I think he's recognized that danger and is running for the hills <laughs> and guard and entrench alright fair enough so you've gone right here. I need to get into the water with you. I'm there. And we won't fire the LRM, but we will shoot everything else. Aye, aye. Lots of half damage stuff. And we get into the water with you as well. Right, what can we shoot at you? We need the SRMs rather than the lasers. Um, I think we risk the overheat. and the internal structure damage it gives just to really put that stability damage on that atlas if I just attack I'm out of range of the medium lasers and the SRMs so I really do need to push forward so if I get here out of the rough terrain I've got pretty good hit hits on, on that atlas so here we go so I shut down if I fire everything um, Let's take off the medium lasers. Got to warm myself up a bit. We really need to try and knock that thing down. Hit with the AC-10. Everything else swarms in. Knock down. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we can do to that atlas now. It's I'm not even really sure if anything is especially... Okay, you've got four armor left on that torso and there's a lot of ammo there. That seems like the point to shoot the center torso. Just got some medium lasers. Or the head. We'll see. Now the problem for me is in knocking that down I have properly cooked my mechs. The Panther's backing off. Well, we're pretty close to losing everything there. That's the ammo, so if we get a crit there, that arm flies off. That's my medium laser gone, and I'm down to a small laser. Basically punching in harsh language. Yeah, yeah. Backing up the Atlas. Doesn't try and get in my way though. Can't take many more hits like that. All right. What can we do to this atlas then? So, Commander? I am out of.
out of melee range, a long way out of melee range. I still want to present my right side more or less where I can. Let's try get that left torso open up. And crit this are in. Um and let's get Yeah, maybe not as own. Sumo. We've got ball walk, so I think if I just stay where I am in the water, I get great shots. I will slightly overheat. I'll take off a medium laser to avoid that. Um, how's that centre torso looking? I need to do 300 damage to it with everything. I don't think that's happening, I think. You got it. I think we go for that torso there. Great. We crit the ammo. Okay, ozone's still really slow. Not ozone, sorry, um, arc light slow. What are your orders, Skipper? So, I think we stay still. We've got bulwark as well with, our, with ozone, so we stay still. I shut down if I do that. If I do two medium lasers, and an SRM, then we're overheating. Two SRMs is doable. Let's put them on that center torso. Center torso needs another 150. Um, so, arc light. If we stay still here, so definitely the AC-10. We overheat. We don't shut down with this. Shut down if we do that. So what? That's 25, 15, fours is 60s, 85. So we might, might get through that centre torso. Oh uh, well. You know what, I think it might, might be worth firing everything and even shutting down in the Orion if it kills that Atlas, because I just have to take two PPC shots. So cold shot, centre torso, here we go. It's dead. <laughs> okay. And uh, my opponent has left the game. So I guess at that point they pretty wisely concede that they have lost. So I think the keys for me there, my opponent left his catapult out and exposed. I uh, didn't make use of any evasive abilities or try to defend it in any way, so I was able to knock it down and take it out. And despite losing my AC-20 on the Hunchback, I still had enough stability damage etc to, to pop that Atlas down and managed to take it apart with concentrated fire. So I think my opponent could have handled that a lot better. And I think I did alright. 
Um, hard to say how much of that was luck going my way and not their way as well. Because there were a couple of, of misses with big guns here and there. Might have changed the shape of the fight. Still, um, it's always more fun uh, when you're the one coring out their mechs than vice versa. And uh, that will do for tonight.